Welcome to a very self-indulgent episode of Weekly Allowance. This video isn't about you guys. This video is all about me. Why? Because I'm opening up a giant horsey. Not only a giant horsey, but a giant evil horsey. Giant evil horsies are kind of my bread and butter. I don't want to say I'm an expert on giant evil horsies, but I'm kind of an expert on giant evil horsies. So today we are looking at Mythic Legion's... Goodness, what's its name? A... uh... A... Aethon. Aethon. As you can see, it is absolutely massive. I really wanted to film myself uh, so you guys could see my astounded face and also have a kind of comparison between me and how large this thing is, but uh, my other camera is out of battery right now and I just want to go ahead and film this, so that's what we're gonna do. Packaging! Very different than what we've seen from Mythic Legion so far because uh, giant horse. Big window in the front to show horsey. Very pretty illustrations on the side of the two horse characters. This is the good horse. Good horse. Horses are only as good as their owners. I don't know if that's true. And the bad horse, which is the one that we got. We continue on to the back with another awesome illustration of a uh, Air Air Thier. I forget this guy's name. He's a bad guy. We actually have this guy on pre-order. We just haven't gotten him yet. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it because I am so freaking excited. We know how awesome Mythic Legion stuff is. I'm sure this horse will be no different. All right. That same illustration on the back is repeated on this cardboard insert. Insert? It's repeated on the cardboard insert. Sorry for my voice. Uh, so you could display this or have the horse positioned in front of it, and uh, that would look pretty cool. All right, how do we get you out of here? Twisty ties. My nemesis. Did you know that you can just cut twisty ties? You don't have to untwist them. But then they're functionally useless as twisty ties if you cut them too short. So if you want to reuse your twisty ties, don't cut them. This has been life advice from Maddie. You are welcome. Okay. Whoa. There she goes. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is just a work of art. And I may have a naturally facetious voice, but I am not being facetious in this instance. It is beautiful. Look at that crazy detail. And I'm also excited to get to articulation, which I'm not usually excited about, but this horse promises to have some good articulation. Yeah, for those unfortunate people who are under the belief that action figures can't be a work of art, <laughs> I feel sorry for them, because this is gorgeous. I mean, it's a lot to take in, but everywhere you look, there's something new. Tiny, fine details like the fur and the veins and the muscles. The beautiful sculpt on the mane and the tail and the feathers. Incredible detail on the tack. Not only does this simulate leather really well, you've got all these embossed details. Plus some metallic looking accents for the straps and stuff. The collar has like a demon face on it, which is great. Beautiful and also terrifying bridal tack. The horns on here are sculpted with such detail. You can see each individual crack and crag, and then the paint only accentuates that. Oh, this is just super awesome. <laughs> Look at those disturbing teeth. I feel sad that I don't have, um, bad guy dude to put on top of it, but hopefully I'll get him soon and we can see how they look together. So yeah, if you haven't realized yet, this is also real chain and it's black. Black like this horse's soul. And as with so many Mythic Legions figures, there's a lot you can do with this as far as um, removal and customization goes. You can take off the mane. Presumably you could switch it out with the good horse mane, give the good horse fiery hair, give this horse regular black horsey hair. Not only do these embossed leather straps come off the tack, but the stirrups do too. Yeah, the sleep pack comes off too. Maybe in the future they'll have other saddle options that you can kind of switch out. I will say, once you get these off, they're a little bit difficult to get back in and stay in. Come on, man. Oh yeah, that's, that's gonna be a problem, is that these just don't want to stay in once you've taken them out. The same for the pack too. It seems like once you remove these things, <laughs> it opened up. See? Yeah. It opens up some kind of floodgate where they just don't want to stay. So, um, I'm just gonna remove those for now because they keep- Oh god, yeah, see, see? Just as quick as I was to fall in love with this, now I'm aggravated. So I don't really want to mess with the bridle or anything because I want to keep all this the way it is and I don't want stuff to be flying off everywhere. So let's look at movement before we get into accessories and this horse does come with accessories. I'm gonna start with the tail first, why not? It's my video. Up. 
way down, swivel all around. Really nice range of movement for the tail. I have a few horse action figures and none of them like to lower their heads very much. I remember when I was a kid I had those um like briars or whatever horses and they would lower their heads a whole lot so I don't know where has the where has the horse head lowering technology gone? But we do get a little side to side out of the neck. We can do up on the head. Head lowers a good amount too. A little bit of side to side on that as well. Now for the feet. The four legs can go all the way up to here. Oh nice, there's a slight, slight rotation. Same at the knee here. Oof. Same at the ankle. And that looks really cool. The joints are pretty stiff. Ugh. So they're a little bit rough to work with. For the back leg, we can sweep all the way out about that far forward. There is a swivel on this thigh piece. And there is also oh, a very chunky joint here. Hard to move because it's so large and sticky. We've got a swivel on this ankle piece. It should shift up. It does too, but everything is kind of, like I said, it's stiff and wanting to stick. And then we've got the same movement in this foot piece that we saw in the foreleg. Can I mention also that once you take the mane out, <laughs> it as well doesn't want to go back into the head and stay there. Very frustrating. I was super on board with the idea of removable stuff, but not really if it's not going to stay in the horse. I mean, I got this horse in the first place because I liked the way it looked with all the stuff attached. The thing about large quadrupeds in action figure form is that I, you tend to not be able to get too much movement out of them, no matter how good the articulation is. So there's probably not a huge amount of posing you can get out of her, but she looks damn good. Move on to accessories for a moment. They're much less spectacular than the horse. She comes with two shields and two plain swords. Nice sculpt on the swords though, and there's a slight amount of gold dry brush on the black. Makes the detail kind of pop. So I believe you can attach these to her tack, and let's see. I'm just gonna slip them into these. Yeah, that works. Just slip the shield handles into the straps hanging down here. Luckily, the straps don't come off, or do they? I'm not gonna mess around with it and find out. And that looks way cool. As for the swords, I'm not sure about that. See, you could do this, but that seems like a bad idea. That seems like that's just, um, begging for injury. But you know what? It's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them in there. And just keep them in there, because it looks cool. This is fantasy, guys. You can do whatever you want. This horse is probably impervious to damage anyways. Wouldn't you think so? So yeah, frustrations with the stuff falling off aside, this is a killer looking figure. Absolutely beautiful. And now I'm super excited to get bad guy, whatever his name is, uh, to sit on top of this horsey, and they can go on adventures together. So I may not have evil demon bad guy dude, but I do have this female knight from the Mythic Legions line. So here's the scale you're looking at with that horse, and it fits in nicely. At first I thought it was going to be way bigger than the other figures, but no, that seems about right for a big war horse. So let's put her on top. Just the same problem with the stirrups and stuff falling off. Also, her feet don't really want to reach the stirrups. But I imagine the demon dude will be bigger than her, so might not have that problem when we get him. Yeah, the horse looks really super nice with a rider. Here's Athon compared to the Figma horse. You can see there's quite a size difference. And I actually got the Figma horse for um, reference purposes, like for drawing horses, but the articulation on it is even more limited than the articulation on this. You can even see it's got less cut lines, and it's also just not as good of a figure. <laughs> so Demon Horse might be my go-to for reference now. Comparing it to other ginormous animals, here is the horse compared to Creative Beast Studios' Pachyrhinosaurus that came out a few months ago. <laughs> so this horse is even bigger than a dinosaur, and this is one of Creative Beast's largest figures. So very, very impressive. So yeah, sorry if this was kind of a short, silly review, but I really wanted to open this horsey, and um, I figured I'd take you guys along for the ride with me. I love it. I do have a problem with all the stuff just falling off after you've removed it once. That's gonna need some fixing because I do plan to display it with all the accoutrements attached. And I don't know why you wouldn't. Oh, I just noticed that the shield has a hole in it. This horse has been in battle already. All right, so likes and subscribes are appreciated. Comments are more than welcome. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Mm -hmm.